to start off you want to go to your input folder actions right click and go to input right here input action and call this ia underscore sprint navigate back to your character folder go to input again and open up the imc default click the little plus right here to add another mapping in the none right here select your ia sprint i did mine left shift and you can just press this little keyboard right here and press the key for what you want and as well i on the trigger i set it to be down you can set it to any of these really like press you could make it where the character only presses the shift and they sprint and then they can press it again and stop sprinting but i'm just gonna stick with the classic down so save this and we can close out of this all right now open up your character mine's in the third person blueprints bp third person character and inside of here we have to make two functions and two variables the first function is called sprint and the second function is called stop sprint the reason we do this in functions is because there's probably other actors that affect your character and that you may have and you want to be able to allow those fun or those other blueprints to easily be able to call functions along with these two functions we're going to need two variables we're going to call the first one walk speed and set this to a float and the second one we are going to call sprint speed and it should already be a float but if it's not just set it up here compile and save so we can access these values over here the walk speed unreal engine's default walk speed is 600 you can adjust this to your preference or you can keep it their sprints or their walk speed it's whatever you prefer so play around with the value and then our sprint speed just for demonstration i'm going to set it to like a thousand just so we can really see the character sprinting all right so we are going to start in the sprint function so just drag out your character movement and do and drag off of that and do set max walk speed right here and as you can already guess it's the sprint function so we are going to add our sprint speed right there and now what you can basically do is just copy these two like that go to your stop sprint connect this up like so and then drag in your walk speed this time like that and then make sure you compile and save all right so now we can set up these functions so that the character can actually sprint so right click and search for sprint and don't call your function but instead get the input action sprint right here off of triggered you want to connect your sprint right there like that and off of completed you want to connect your stop sprint right there and now it is key to note that depending on your input settings or your input trigger you used you may have to use different pins right here to get the desired effect but for the setup i have this will work so just compile and save and we can test it out as you can see i can run around and if i press shift i speed up a lot now you can adjust the speed to whatever you would like you can make it a little more realistic and the animation is a little bit too slow for how fast i'm running but you can adjust all that to your preferences and if it's a little bit slower sprint speed then the blue the animation will match it a little bit better as well but yeah if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe for more leave a comment down below what you want to see next and i will see you in the next one bye bye